Alright, guess what just literally got in the mail today? It's the Scuf Instinct Pro controller. This is an Xbox controller, but it'll work on your PC as well. I ordered this guy about a month ago on the website, and it only got here today. So if you're planning to do the same, expect a little bit of a wait. Man, I'm just so pumped right now. What do you say we just crack it open? Alright. Slide the sleeve out. Ooh, yeah, fancy. Check this out. On the side of the box, wins not included. <laughs> oh, there we are. Man. Okay. Man, it just feels so premium right off the bat. Wow, okay. I can't wait to test it out. Very similar to the Xbox Series X controller. Let's see what's else inside the box. The attention to detail in the unboxing experience is top notch. Looks like we got some braided cable, USB-C. We've got two extra thumbsticks. These are convex, in case you prefer these. Got a little manual here. It's quite thick actually. Usually nowadays when you buy electronics or game, it's just one piece of paper. But check that out, it's an actual booklet. All right, so even though it says right here, wireless performance controller, this one is only wired on Xbox, but it has Bluetooth if you want to use it on PC. It says right there, connectivity, USB-C and Bluetooth. So there's no Xbox wireless on this controller. You know, I really wish that Microsoft opens up the Xbox wireless on controllers. I mean, they do it for headsets. Why not on controllers? I'm sick and tired of it. All right, I also got a case with it. Look at this. Look how nice it is. Yeah, very sturdy. Definitely gonna protect your controller. Ooh, some more thumbsticks. I guess if you buy this little kit with the case, it's gonna come with a longer cable. And what is this thing? Gamer grip. <laughs> Look at this! Dry hand formula. I can't believe it. I didn't know such thing existed. This thing looks and feels very similar to the Xbox Series controller from the dimensions to the shape of it to the button layout. Almost everything is exactly the same, except this guy has a premium plastic to it. It's got a premium build to it. And of course on the back here, you get some extra buttons and the trigger locks as well. So if you already love the Xbox series controller, but you want the pro features, I think this may be the answer. Oh, hey, check that out. <laughs> this thing comes off. So this is a faceplate. Dang, that's cool. I guess that's how you replace the thumbsticks, huh? No, I'm not gonna pull it out. Should I pull it out? I kinda don't wanna break my new controller. <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure if I just broke my thumbstick. <laughs> Look, oh my god. I hope it's not broken. Yeah, this one doesn't do that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What have I done? All right, you can pull this out to replace your thumbsticks. It doesn't look like it's broken. <laughs> We're okay, guys. Oh, check this out. The right thumbstick is a little bit longer than the left one. Do you see that? So if you prefer more precision, you may want to go with this guy. Well, I'm going to have to say, I don't think this is an ideal way to replace your thumbsticks because really your controller is really exposed, right? It may mess up the mechanisms in here, right? And it's pretty difficult for me to put it back, right? You got to really press it down. And while you press it down, this thing is moving around, right? So, I don't know. 
Yeah, I gotta say, this is pretty lightweight and small enough where I think if you have smaller hands, you have no problem with this. And I really prefer the design of the Xbox controller just because of the handles here. It kind of angle in such a way where you hold your controller. There's really no bend of the wrist at all. You see that? It's just straight. So this makes it more ergonomic. These have a little bit more tension than the Xbox Series controller and I really like the grips here. You see that? There's a rubbery feel to it and it really sticks to your fingers really well. Yeah, very nice. I like it. The triggers also have this grippy patterns to them. It's subtle. Your finger is not going to slip out of it. Yeah, the shoulder buttons are nice and clicky. Yeah, the face buttons feel good. They're nice and clicky. They're not as clicky as the Xbox Series controller though. The design of this D-pad is exactly like the Xbox Series controller, which I really like. Again, just like the face buttons, these are really nice and clicky. Just not to the same level as the Xbox Series controller. And on the back here, you got trigger locks. Okay, there's only two levels to it. Oh, whoa. Okay, so if you turn on the trigger lock, this has almost no travel at all. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I wish it's got the same amount of travel as the shoulder buttons, but this acts more like a mouse click than anything. No lock. Lock. <laughs> That's a little extreme, I think. You've got your profile button here in the back, and I've never seen back buttons designs like this before. Let's see. To press the buttons on the handles of the controller, you just use your middle finger, so that's pretty normal. But in order for you to press these buttons on the base of the controller, you gotta use your middle finger here and press outward. So that's pretty awkward. So you're gonna have to map these buttons to something that you're not gonna use very often, because it's pretty awkward to get to these buttons. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Now check out these grips on the handles. Man, these handles have honeycomb shape patterns to them. They're very nice and grippy. I like them. And the face plate's got this nice soft plastic. It just makes the whole controller feels really premium, you know? Yeah, this is a very, very pretty controller. Alright, what do you say we plug it in and take it for a test drive? So immediately I noticed that the D-pad is a little bit on the heavier side. It's definitely heavier than the Xbox Series controller D-pad. Hmm, okay, I would say that the diagonals are pretty accurate. Okay, let's test the double taps. Oh yeah! Yeah! And this move is really crucial because this is Brad Wong's only defense when he's on the ground, he can't block. So if you miss it, you're gonna eat a lot of damage. One thing that I struggle with with the PS5 controller is that the D-pad doesn't spring up quick enough. So when I do Brad Wong's 9PP, by the time that the second P is registered, either forward or up is still in the system, causing me to do a different move than what I wanted. Alright, as you can see here, it doesn't happen with this controller often, right? It happens on the first one right here, but after that, it's pretty good. Now right, let's try a combo. <laughs> Look at the damage. Alright, let's lock the triggers up. See how it feels like. Yeah, honestly, I think there's a mouse switch on here. It feels exactly as if you were to press a mouse button. Yeah, and this is great for fighting games because your moves will come out instantly, you know. Alright, let's test out these back buttons. <laughs> yeah. I feel that the back button doesn't spring up quick enough, so I can't do the back turn back dash as quickly as I want to. 
And I think another reason why I can't do it quickly enough is because they made this button really hard to press. So it's a little heavy so that you don't accidentally press it, which I understand. But as a consequence, you can't tap this button quickly enough in succession. With most buttons, we train to press down, right? However, with this button, you gotta press away and up. Okay, so it's just really awkward. It's just really strange. It's gonna take some getting used to. With these outer buttons, I'm thinking the best thing to program these for are probably things that you don't use frequently. Maybe like bringing up a map or bringing up a menu or something like that. And you see there's a profile button here. You can use this to change between three profiles. So we've got blue, red, and green. And you can cycle through them. Everything is done through the controller which I like a lot. So you don't have to rely on opening up a program or anything like that. You can change your profiles in game. You also use this profile button to program these paddles. To program these paddles, you use this profile button. You press and hold it until you see the light blinking. So let's say I wanna program this paddle to up, right? So I press up and the paddle at the same time. Okay, and then you're going to see a white light. You see that? And then you press it again. Now press the paddle and he goes up. Let's see if we can program multiple buttons to the same paddle. So let's see, up, back, and punch. Right, let's see. Okay, so you cannot program multiple buttons to this. Oh, that's a shame. I really wish they had allowed you to program multiple buttons to one paddle, you know. That would be great for fighting games. Okay, so initial impressions. I think this is an awesome controller. Essentially what this is, is the Xbox Series controller, but you have pro options, right? You have the back buttons, the trigger locks, and also you have three profiles to choose from. I think the D-pad is pretty solid. It's very accurate, however, it's a little bit on the heavier side. Hopefully over time you can wear this down so that it'll be a little easier to press. I do like the trigger locks quite a bit. Yeah, they're really, really nice and responsive. Having the back buttons and the ability to lock the triggers, I think that's huge. That makes this controller just that much better. If you love the Xbox controller but wish that it had back buttons and the ability to lock the triggers, well, your wish just came true because this controller essentially is the same as the Xbox controller down to even the D-pad layout, right? But now you've got the additional features that you wanted. The only other thing that I wish for is if Scuff makes this controller that looks exactly like this, but I can use that on my PS5. That would be amazing. And this controller just look and feel so nice. I really love the soft touch plastic on the faceplate here. Oh, so good. It looks good, it feels premium. The buttons are accurate and tactile. I mean, what more do you want? All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more, and take care now. Die, 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 die